My name is Damir Brjanovic and I'm professor of sanitary engineering at uh, UNESCO ING Institute of uh, Water Education in Delft. I will tell you for a few words about uh, ESOS. It stands for Emergency Sanitation Operation System. Emergency Sanitation Operation System is uh, a new concept developed uh, by UNESCO IG under the framework of uh, Bill and Melinda Gates funded project for sanitation for the urban poor. It, it is an innovative concept that takes into account the total uh, sanitation chain under the emergency conditions. Emergency conditions are very specific conditions which are caused by either anthropological uh, reasons or by natural uh, reasons. The emergency sanitation operation system uh, contains of several components. It takes into account the total sanitation chain starting from the toilet and ending up with the treatment of feces and uh, uh, urine and reuse of the valuable products. The central part of the concept is a smart ESOS toilet. Mm -hmm. This uh, ESOS toilet has to satisfy certain conditions as any other emergency sanitation toilet. It has to be lightweight, it has to be uh, easily deployable, easily employable, easy to transport. It has to fit to European size pallet, which is one meter by 80 centimeters uh, size. Also, it has to be safe. It has to be made from uh, durable materials. It uh, can be of different types. So it can be uh, uh, in a squatting type of a toilet or uh, with a toilet seat. It must also um, be accessible for um, uh, part of the population which is less capable during the, the emergency situations, like uh, elderly people, injured, and, and uh, children. Uh, it has to be relatively cheap. It has to be also easily transportable, uh, deployable from uh, different uh, transportation units like plane or, or trucks and so on. Mm -hmm. And um, it has to be functional. So our smart ESOS toilets have some additional features next to these. These additional features are enabling us to obtain scientific and practical information that are not available at the moment. The ESOS a smart toilet, in addition to these standard features of emergency toilets, have uh, some additional features which allows us to extract and to obtain uh, scientific and practical information about use of toilets during emergency situations. Mm -hmm. These features include, for example, uh, information on the frequency of use of the toilet during emergencies, the length of the stay of the person in the toilet, uh, we get information of what person does in the toilet. Is it uh, urinating only or doing NP and poo together? Um, it also in gets in uh, obtains information on the amount of feces and urine discharged by a user, the length of the stay of user in the toilet, um, and provides us a, a lots of information which are in fact not known for the emergency conditions. So why do we need to know this information? It's not only because of scientific curiosity, but it's really uh, driven by the uh, practice uh, demand, because now nowadays the uh, approach to emergency sanitation by relief agencies and by other uh, pro pro uh, providers of emergency relief mm -hmm. are based on more on, a, on a empirical uh, background and uh, rules of thumb rather than on uh, scientifically uh, proved information. So this concept, ESOS concept, uh, is actually addressing these deficiencies of the present uh, situation and present uh, practice and trying to uh, develop a new set of information that can be used in the future to optimize uh, and to improve the efficiency of uh, the emergency operations. Um, so, as such, this ESOS toilet will be positioned in the uh, novel ESOS concept, which not only includes the development of a smart toilet, but also involves development of uh, the novel type of um, emergency, uh, uh, of the novel type of treatment of sludge and feces 
collected during the emergency situations and we'll also collect a number of different technologies which are now available and used for other purposes but not used under emergency situations. So as such this uh, new concept is expected uh, to provide additional value to the practice but it is looking really much more in the future than to solve problems in immediate uh, short-term uh, period. With some small modifications of the system, the, the total concept but also the, the toilets itself can be used for other purposes. They can also be used uh, for uh, sanitation uh, in informal settlements, in the slum area, but also in uh, the situations when we have a large crowd uh, uh, during the concert events or uh, some other public events where there's uh, lots of people uh, using a toilet in a short period of time.